Hi, I am Mr. Crocker, and today we're going to be talking about decimal place value, and we're going to go a step farther than we went yesterday. Yesterday we talked about tenths. Today we will be talking about hundredths. Okay, so it's the same idea. So let's just say that I have two pieces of pizza. Okay, I have two pieces of pizza. It's about lunchtime here. I'm getting a little bit hungry. Um, and I take a couple of bites out of one. Okay, so I no longer have two, and I have less pizza. I can describe what I have as one and part of a piece of pizza, right? And yesterday we just did tenths, so you know I could say I have one and six tenths slices of pizza it's like one and a part of a piece because i took a bite out now, i can be even more exact by going to the next place value the next spot and i might say i have 64 hundredths okay so this number now says one and for the decimal place we just say and 64 hundredths slices of pizza so what this means is I have, we're going to pretend these slices are square. Okay. I have one whole slice and then the next slice, let's pretend that it is One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's ten rows. So if I color it out to six, that would be six tenths. We talked about six yesterday. Today we're taking it a step further and we're going hundredths. Okay. So that's that's a hundred. As best I could draw it. All right, that's a hundred pieces, and I have sixty-four out of a hundred. So I could color in. I know these rows are ten, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, four hundredths okay which is the same if we break this number down as six tenths because i colored in six you know, before i drew the extra rows i had just tenths well i colored six of those so it's six tenths and four little hundredths here on this last one right 64 hundredths not a whole it's, it's a number that's between one and two. If, if we took the distance between one and two and we broke it into a hundred pieces, I would have 64 of those. Some of them are missing. I, I ate part of that piece of pizza. Okay. Let's look at another number. Let's do three and 2,500. Well, what does that number mean? That means three holes, one, two, three, right? Complete, full, 100% of those, right? And then I have part of the next piece. So here's my fourth piece, and I'm gonna break it. That's tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's ten pieces. So if I look at this number, I know I'm going to have two of those, right? Two tenths, but uh, but it's it's hundredths. So I'm going to divide. I'm going to go to hundred. Okay, so okay. So now I have. that last piece broken into 100 equal pieces. 
and I have out of 100, I have 25 of them. So that's like this 10, 20, and then five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, three holes, two tenths, five hundredths. And I hope that we are noticing that tenths are actually larger, right? So like when I I'm just gonna start over. Okay, and we're gonna get rid of the holes because now we're just talking about the difference between tenths and hundredths. So if I have two models here, okay? Okay, that's 10. Okay, it's not super pretty, but it's 10. So if I wanted to draw two tenths, that would look like this. Okay, it's two out of 10. If I wanted to talk about two hundredths, it would be written like that with a zero in front. It's no tenths, it's just two hundredths. Well, first I'd have to make that. Okay, so these are tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't have any tenths. Okay. Now there are hundredths. These pieces are much smaller than these pieces. Two hundredths would look like that. Okay. So it's a little bit different than what our ear is used to. We're used to thinking of 100 as more than 10. This is not 110, it's tenths with the TH, right? Tenths. And hundredths. And when you're sharing two things that are the same size, Right, both of these boxes are roughly the same size. If I break it into 10 pieces, those pieces will be bigger pieces than if I break the same size thing into 100 pieces, you're going to get much smaller pieces. Right, so hundredths are very small, tenths are bigger. But weird, right? So Let's model this on a number line now. Okay, let's say that I have um, I have five dollars. I go into the store and I spend seventy five cents on a big gulp. Okay, so five dollars. The next, the next whole number down would be four dollars. Okay, so we're somewhere in between here because I spent part of a dollar, not a whole dollar, 75 cents, right? So in the middle would be five tenths. We could also call that 50 hundredths, okay? And usually in money, we do go to hundreds because we have the system that's based on 100 pennies is a dollar, right? So this point here in the middle, I called it, I called it five tenths and I called it 50 hundredths because it can be five dimes. That would be five tenths, five out of 10 dimes, or it can be 50 hundredths. It can be 50 out of 100 pennies, and those are equal amounts of money. Okay, five dimes, same as 50 pennies. And that's true at all the point, all the tens, right? So the 
this is one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths would be the whole next dollar. So the, this is tenths. This is what we talked about. It can also be described as ten hundredths, twenty hundredths, thirty hundredths, forty hundredths, fifty hundredths. Okay. And that that is that's because in my model here, remember this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> that last one got a little bit short. Okay, so tenths. Those are tenths. I have ten sections. Okay, so if I color in two of them, that's two tenths. Now let's just say that I take this model. Okay, and I break it into a hundred pieces. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Not the best job I've ever done of breaking something up evenly, but it, but it has a hundred pieces. Okay, I still have those two rows colored. I didn't change the amount of colored space. But now instead of it being two rows like it was when I started, two tenths, now what it is is it's 20 little boxes. It's 20 hundredths. And those two amounts, two tenths and 20 hundredths, are equal, just like when we did equivalent fractions, right? So, so back to my problem at the store here, I spent 75 cents on a big gulp. So I'm taking away 75 cents. And out of out of 100, that's going to leave me at 25 cents because 25 and 75 make 100. That's the whole dollar. So on my number line here, 25 hundredths, right? If I had if I had 100, a dollar, I took away 75, it leaves me at 25 hundredths. 25 hundredths is somewhere between 20 and 30. It's right about there. Okay, so this, this is what I have. I have $4 and 25 hundredths left over. Okay, so hundredths. Hundreds are used to describe part of a whole, and we use them when we want to break that whole into a hundred pieces, like we do with money, with pennies and dollars, right? So if you have 25 pennies out of a hundred, out of a dollar, that's 25 hundreds. Okay, last thing with hundreds, we need to talk about comparing them. So let's say that I have five and two tenths, and I'm comparing that to five and 18 hundredths, okay? So the point that we need to understand here is that two tenths is greater than 18 hundredths because remember we did this, we drew the box here. This is just like 20 hundredths, right? And 20 out of 100 is more than 18 out of 100. So this looks a little weird the way that it is. So oh, it just has one digit and this has extra digits. But two tenths is like, it's more shaded area. It's, it's like 20 hundredths, which is more than 18 hundredths. Okay. If we take Which one of those would be greater? 
So, you know, this means three holes and seven out of a hundred. So if you can imagine that grid that we've drawn, you know, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. It's that much, right? Remember those little boxes? I didn't draw the little boxes, but I shaded about that much. So that's like seven out of a hundred. If I have seven tenths, this says seven tenths. You see how there's a zero here, hundredths, no zero here, so they're tenths. That's gonna be more like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of 10 rows in the box. That area is much more than that little area, right? This is not even one whole row. It's not even one tenth, okay? Because it takes 10 hundredths to make a tenth, just like it takes 10 pennies to make a dime. So this is $3 and less than a dime, seven pennies. This is $3 and seven dimes. Or we could think of it as 70 cents, 70 pennies. Okay. 70 is much more than seven. Okay. Which of those two would be greater? Well, okay. The whole numbers are the same, right? So that's not, that doesn't really tell us the difference here. They each have five holes. This one has 63 out of 100, 63 hundredths. And this one has four tenths. So, you know, six tenths, three hundredths. One, two, three, four, five, six, and three. If I drew the little boxes in, 100 boxes, and I shaded 63 of them, I would be shading about that much of that box. This one has four tenths. One, two, three, four. Which is more? Well, look, six tenths is more than four tenths, right? So that's more. It's more by about 23 cents because if this if we translate this into pennies like this is in pennies or hundredths it would be 40 five dollars 40 cents and this would be five dollars 63 cents okay so to wrap this up we talked about two two places today past the decimal right we've got Got your whole numbers, 24, then a decimal place. And the decimal place tells us, okay, now we're tar talking about parts of a whole. The first place after the decimal, that one is called tenths. And those are like dimes. And if I drew a picture of them, they're the rows, right? The whole rows. The next decimal place, those are called hundredths. And those are like pennies. Pennies are smaller than dimes. And if I draw a picture of them, they are individual Little bit, little bit of boxes. Okay, so decimal place value, tenths and hundredths.